G'day viewers and welcome back to King Lake West. This week we've got something a little bit different. It's a shootout between a cute little Suzuki and a big ballsy V8 Land Cruiser. Who will win? Who will get stuck? Who will have to recover who? It's all up for grabs here on Life Off Road. So let's hit the tracks and find out who the winner is. I'm John from ARB and we're out on the tracks today in King Lake West region. All right, so this is going to be a, a bit of a David and Goliath, isn't it? It is. I'm here in the Suzuki Jimny and we're out with uh, Simon and the boys and my mate Jace. I've brought the ARB 79 series with us today. Tell you what, got some leg room in here, it's really nice. Looking like it's going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to putting the 79 through its paces and potentially dragging the Suzuki most of the way through. John, do you need us to slow down a bit? My name is Ozzy Khan. I'm a good mate of Simon's. I'm pretty new to the scene, uh, but I'm definitely not new to adventure. Woo! Let's see what happens. What did you go down to? 18. <laughs> this is 10. What was in it before? Not much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> 10's good. We've got two very different vehicles here today. We've got a 70 Series and a Suzuki Jimny. Both of these cars are fitted out with all the gear. We're going to have a good day on the tracks and see if I can show Jason up in the big Land Cruiser. It's going to be a bit too much for him today and the 79 will have to do most of the recovery work, I think. Jason and John being great Australians, obviously the smack talk's already started. John, do you need a hand selecting four wheel drive? <laughs> He's not just <laughs> <laughs> He thinks the, uh, the Suzuki is the best thing getting around, but I've got news for him. Right at the big tree when you catch up, John. Come on, guys, Jesus. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't even see it. I'm really interested to find out which one's going to finish on top. You've got this descent straight down, a little bit slippery through here, and then into the bog hole. It's got a fairly firm base, I believe, and then power it up the hill all the way. <laughs> I'll just slide down there and see what happens, eh? <laughs> Enough talk and let's right. drive it. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, quite gullyish down there. Quite gullyish. <laughs> yeah, quite gullyish. It's quite gullyish in the gully. So first gear low range for the descent. Yeah, I reckon. Uh, the accelerator's on the right hand side. Nicely nah. done. Simon started us off with some pretty basic sort of tracks, but pretty quickly turned into something a bit more exciting. And both the Jimny and the Land Cruiser have done a good job with that. It was nice and easy, look. Yeah. Easy and controlled. Yeah. It's a nice little warm up hill, but in the yeah. rain, that'd oh, be a boy. different story. Absolutely, I think here you put a little fresh layer of moisture on it. <laughs> a fresh layer of moisture. A fresh layer of moisture. Are we, are we cooking cakes or something? We can cook a cake, we have the oven, don't we? No. A little green esky should get through there. <laughs> Actually easier than I thought. How about we have something a little bit harder? Oh yeah, bring it on. We need somewhere we can leave the Suzuki behind. <laughs> we got into something a little bit more extreme than we might have been looking for. Really? We'll have a go. Just think confidence. Yeah, that's <laughs> I reckon the Suzuki would just come straight up the side here. It'll be fine. We found ourselves a nice little winch wall. And it's going to be a little bit dicey. John was never going to be able to get up there, but I thought if I have a crack, then at least I'll have something to hold over him for the rest of the day. Which tree do you want to Just one of the trees here in the forest, Oz. Okay, pick one. We've got to give Ozzy a bit of a look at recovering in an easy, controlled situation where we could you know, really go through the basics of winching. All right. Can you get in the car and just drive? All right. There is There's there. no way they'll make this. No you way. You don't want me to behind. Wait. See what I mean? <laughs> I should be able to drive it, I reckon. Look, that's like 
at least 40% of driving it. <laughs> it was John's job to bring the cable dampers. He didn't do that. So we were able to use a recovery bag. We are You can use anything, floor mat, a jacket, just anything that can weight the cable. I have all my faith in my teammate over here. I'm just gonna watch and uh, stay out of danger. Is this what I light up the turbo and just bop it up the hill? <laughs> Not gonna. Beautiful. You're gonna switch out. Hey guys, isn't this yours? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, Simon, what's next, mate? Oh, I think we've got a little bit of a water splash for you. It's all pretty hard packed down here. Just a little bit of fun. After our recovery, had a little bit more of a tour around. All pretty basic, but really slippery. Did you bring your floaties? Uh, no, not this time, nor a snorkel. Don't worry, we'll go first and clear some of the water out of the way for you. Ooh, that one's nearly deep enough to lose a Zuki, I think. <laughs> Come around the corner and there's a couple of reasonable sized puddles, but didn't seem to be anything more than puddles. Come on, go the big one. All right, the big one. Oh! <laughs> oh <-ho! laughs> That's super deep. Ah, he's bogged. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it was a little bit more than a puddle and managed to get myself stuck in it. You guys aren't going anywhere. That's, yeah, we're getting winched out of that. He was a bit proud of himself and was a bit shy to actually ask for assistance. So I thought I'd uh, come over the radio and see if he needed a paddle. All right, boys, do you need a hand? Um, look, I, we might have it, but if you're around. Yeah, just a little pull might be handy. I just dropped my phone. Saved it. Oh. Or... <laughs> the phone is still working. I can't believe it. <laughs> Lucky me. That's right, I'm just getting proof for later. Alright, got a snatch strap? We do have a snatch strap, but I don't know if the, the Zook's going to be heavy enough. Yeah, I'll go backwards. Then go that way. You got Oz driving the recovery car, and worse than that, you got John telling him what to do. Well, that's a little worrying. As long as it's not John, we should be fine. I get to keep my unbeaten record. He was lucky he had the Jimny with us, and we were able to snatch him out with ease. Despite a little vehicle, it was still capable of recovering a, a 70 series out of the bog holes. It really shows that it doesn't really matter how good the car is with all the lockers and tyres and everything, you still need to have really good recovery gear and a real solid base knowledge on how to use it. Oh, that's stuff you on the back of your unit. Thanks for the snatch, boys. So that's one up to the Suzuki, I guess, today. I think we'll get back in the cars and see what other trouble we can find ourselves in. Well, that was a touch deeper than expected, wasn't it? <laughs> With John and Ozzy gloating over the recovery, it was time to even up the score. And I had the perfect hill climb lined up just around the corner. You've got to come around that corner with a little bit of noise. You've got to hug this right hand bank. And then up through here, it's not steep, but you've just got to keep on the juice. It's going to be a little bit of sideways action whether you've got lockers or not, but that is a fun ride all the way to the top. It definitely, definitely looks greasy. Really greasy. <laughs> so second low, both lockers. We'll see. Hook into it. I keep it on all the way to the top. Oh, geez, I don't know where the wheels are. A little bit intimidating. It was one of those times where it's just full lock to full lock trying to find traction. Uh, this way? I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> It was a really, really fun hill. 
and just managed to get over the top. They did up pretty well, but we'll do it with ease. No worries in this, baby. Right, nice and light. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too light. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> Take two. Here we go again. Almost! <laughs> nice job, teammate! Despite a, a first bit of wrong gearing, we, we got it right up there the second time. Look at that, hey? There you go, perfect. Just, a, just needed a test run. I'm really surprised how well such a little vehicle went to get us up the hill. This afternoon we've managed to find some nice easy trails with some slightly challenging bits. The last 48 hours have had plenty of rain so there's plenty of puddles and mud around. But there's also been some nice little fire trails that we've just been dawdling around seeing the countryside. I threw the keys at Ozzy to give the Jimny a go, he's very new to the scene. It's been a really interesting journey because my sport isn't four wheel driving, it is skydiving. But I love adventure. Ozzy's first time out four wheel driving today so John's given him the wheel. He seems to be loving it and having a great time. He's doing a great job. Remember, on the downhill, you don't want to punch the brakes. Yeah. So we just need to just work it down. It's actually quite an easy car to drive off-road and very, very easy to learn as well. So I was able to give him some guidance down some of the tracks and use the air lockers in the transfer case and the gearbox to its ability. And he was able to do it with ease. Work it down nicely. Man, you know, I want to do more of this, I reckon. That's a lot of fun. It's been a great process of learning. I'm sure this won't be the last time we get to see him in the bush. 79's going great today. I'm really, really impressed with how it's working. Certainly blowing the doors off the Suzuki. John's given me a bit of a tally on how he thinks the day's going. I reckon he's scoring incorrectly, because I'm pretty certain it's 2-1 to the 79. Both very, very different vehicles, but honestly, they've got through pretty well. The chimney, however, is just ahead of the day, I think, and Jason is probably a bit disappointed with his vehicle selection. He didn't drive the Greasy Hill first. I got it first go. I don't know if anyone else noticed. That being said, I did get bogged in a puddle. So I guess maybe it is one all after all. You guys have been so slow all day. Just discussing the next recovery for the 70 series. Keep talking all you like. At least just more to go through these trees here. Got him. <laughs> you know, it's been amazing because I've got two different types of vehicles, right? Some of the hill climbs we've been doing, the car's been going toe to toe. You know, when the Lamb Cruiser got bogged, then this is the car that pulled it out. The little Suzuki's holding up pretty well and it's certainly proven what a slightly modified vehicle can get through. So after a few hard tracks today, we've got plenty of cool drinks in the back. We've got the ARB Zero fridge, the 44 litre. It sits nicely in the back of the Jimny, it's full of water got app connectivity on my phone but the best thing is it's a nice small fridge size to suit the back of the jimmy so it'll be put to good use today. After lunch Simon had some real treats in store for us. A couple of hill climbs in particular were really good. We had a nice little rocky descent across a logging road. And then a couple of meters later we were straight up into a big rocky ascent and that really challenged the jimmy. It was quite slippery. Front, front locker in. Yep. 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 So we might want to reverse back. Yeah. You comfortable to uh, sit in the passenger seat? No, not at all. <laughs> we'll give it one more. Give it some mumbo and... There was so much bounce going on and there was trees all around and really had to watch what the wheel was doing because it was spinning in my hand, but I didn't want to fight it. Oh, yeah. Might be still on the track. Whoop, whoop. Yep. Whoop. Well, yeah, going that way. A few hair raising moments. I was holding on tight. That's not the car. <laughs> Try to swatch this tree here. Yeah, got it. We got ended it. up getting all the way up the top. It did take a couple of goes though, but geez, it was a lot of fun and definitely got my heart going. Perfect. All right. Well, that was uh, exciting. 
must thank John for his patience. We had an option of swapping drivers, but he decided uh, to give me another go, and we made it without actually crashing into a tree. Thank you, brother. All right. Pretty amazing. The Suzuki had to have a couple of goes, but managed to bounce its way up there, but Mighty 79 just straight on up there. No worries at all. Here we go. This is rocky, slippery, not a lot of traction. Up through the trees, yep. what's that stump? It's been great having Simon in the car with me today, doing all the recovery duties and navigating. The co-driver is doing a reasonable job. I reckon if he, if he keeps going at this, he might even be able to make a TV show out of it. Great drive. Wowee. <laughs> There you go. Nice one. Bit greasy. <laughs> Brilliant. for a Suzuki, I reckon. I feel pretty confident, actually. These vehicles we have today are typically our show vehicles. It really impressed me, the Jimny, with its capabilities. And with the right gear and all that type of thing, we were able to get through what was thrown at it today. That's it. And then straight wheels over here. Yeah. Mate, it was great, but I had my man here, John, who's helped me out and uh, guiding me through the process. For his first day, he's done a very good job. Thank so, you. Yeah, very good. He's got his fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> so on video, the hill climb probably won't look like much, but looking at us now, having to lean down to look up the hill, tells you how steep it is. Look at Rocky here. Nice work. Seven has been fantastic today. It's really capable, it's got good wheel travel and heaps of traction. It's a really great vehicle for this type of four-wheel driving. Ah, too easy. Need something harder. Might be the famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one Simon had planned for us was a little bit deceiving, really. Looking at the bottom, it looked pretty straightforward. Slightly rutted, but not too bad. Was in the pines. Does tend to get a little bit slippery. Jimmy up. With the battle between the Jimny and 79 progressing well, our next challenge fell first to a different set of wheels, the camera crew car. They've got to go everywhere we do, and the next hill climb was proving a little too tough. That was a good half crack. Well done. I think Simon's tired of the uh, incompetence, so he's going to have a crack himself. That was an incredibly hard hill climb. The camera car had a little bit of trouble getting through. Simon, smash! After the Colorado had a couple of goes, it was looking like it was going to get pretty ugly and it was really, really muddy and slippery in the bottom. This is probably not the best idea and we'll go around and we'll try out another hill. Simon told us about a little hill that we got called out on by Trek Hardware. My challenge is to ARB because apparently they're coming here next week with better equipped vehicles. Have a crack. And he talked it up, it was meant to be pretty ugly, so we were G'd up, ready to have a crack at it. Guys, we're not going to get into the big hill climb. I think Mike from Trek has laid down the challenge and he's come back here with a padlock and he's bolted the gate up. <laughs> that does sound like Mike. I love it. I say we go back to that pine track where our camera car got stuck, and we finished that hill. That properly. sounds like a good idea, definitely. Yep. The last hill climb for us today was the, probably the biggest challenge. It's always a good idea to be tackling the most difficult hill of the day after four o'clock, and that always goes well. The 79 did a great job getting up there. Two lockers in, Mickey Thompson 35. Woo! Just drive up second low, pretty easy really. Oh yeah boy, that's one for the 79. Don't know how it looks from the outside, but felt pretty good on the inside. John, we worried, mate? No, nah, not at all. Nah. The Jimny has performed so well. I'm really surprised. I'm really impressed. That gnarly hill climb definitely was the test for the two cars. OK, when you're ready, John, launch it. 
the Jimny was a little bit out of its depth here. The ruts were quite deep and it only runs a fairly small tyre. I unfortunately didn't get up in the Jimny. The ruts <laughs> not even on the ground. Jason did have to recover me up the hill. Bring the 79 around for a recovery and a win. A victory! Not saying a thing. <laughs> again, it was the 79 series to rescue. Quick winch recovery and we had the Jimny back on its way again. He might think he won. I think it's actually one each. The 79 did drive everything first time. The Jimny didn't. You know, the Land Cruiser is the Land Cruiser, but just for being the underdog, I'm gonna go with the Jimny really goes to show that two different vehicles can be very capable off-road with the right gear and the right driving technique. I've learned so much today. I've been a skydiver for a very long time. I think I might have found something new to get my teeth into. Make up your own mind who won this challenge. We all had a cracker of a day and can't wait to do it all again. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. We'll see you all next week. Ha ha ha! Hey, I don't go through it!